my name is shambhu we hope you all are doing well so today we are going to make out a python project and the python project that we are going to make up today is a plagiarism detector okay now uh what what actually we meant from first of plagiarism so plagiarism means that let's say you are writing on some text onto file number one okay and the same text is present onto the file number two so plagiarism checking means that we just to like basically try to check out that whether whatever the content you have written in one of the files is that completely written onto the second file as well or basically you have made on some changes or is that completely copied content from some or the other place okay this is what is it is actually used as fine so uh, what I'm going to do here is that we'll be using on one of the libraries of the Python programming language and that is D-I-F-F-L-I-B that is Diffle. Okay, so what I'm going to do right here is that I'm going to write out that from Diffle, my library which I was talking about, import. Now we are going to import up here a very relevant function, one of the function which helps us to check out and match out the things. So that is the sequence matcher. So sequence okay c q u e n sequence and here goes the matcher fine this is what it is completely used on for so from diflip import sequence matcher fine i have done that out now what i will be doing here is that i'll be making two text files onto this particular place so what is the folder i am situated and into which i had put on my file into which i'm writing my code in that same folder i'll be making on my text files okay so whenever we just want to make out a text file we go on to new and simply click on file okay now here i'll be making on my text files so let's say my text file name is um okay let me take it as demo one dot txt demo one dot txt and in the same manner i'm going to make on one more file uh, so okay that is the simple file and that is demo two dot txt and hit enter fine so two files have been made up demo one and demo two so i'm going to demo one dot txt file Okay, now into this, let's say I'm just going to write on some of the things into this particular place. Let's say I want to write out that um, I am making a Python, I'm making a Python project. Okay, that is project for plagiarism for plagiarism detector. Okay, let's say this is my sentence which I wanted to add up here. So I'm making out a Python project for the plagiarism detector. Fine. I would just come to my second file. Now here let's say I just wrote on some of the other sentences. But that will constitute a little little portion of my first file. So into my first file I wrote out I am making a Python project for plagiarism detector. Let's say on to the second one I wrote out that uh, this project is for checking the plagiarism. Okay, this project is for checking. Okay, let me put on the correct spelling. So here goes checking ing. So yeah, this project is for checking the plug. Plug is basically the short form for the plagiarism only. Okay, so that has been entered. Now I would go to onto this particular file. Now I'm gonna open out these files with the help of the with block. Okay, so as this is a part of a file handling, so hope you are very much okay and clear with that. So with is one of a tool of one of a blog with block actually comes up here with the help of which we open out our file okay so my file name here is demo1.txt uh, right this is my first file as and i'm gonna give it as a file name as one underscore file as one underscore file okay comma so again i just want to open out my second file so open into the bracket goes here demo2.txt one second i would do out one simple thing i would take it to this place and minimize out a little bit so that whatever I'm writing is completely visible to you. Okay. As and here goes file. Okay, that the file name will be two underscore file. Okay, this is what I just wanted to write on here. That with open demo1.txt is my first file. So I'm going to giving it a name as one underscore file. Okay. Secondly, I'm open my second file that is demo2.txt and i am giving that as a name of two underscore file under this i'm going to take on two one or two more variables which will help me to read on the data from both of the txt files which have been taken up here so okay let's say data underscore file my file name okay that is equal to and my first file name is one underscore file dot read basically it will help me to read on the data from my first file then we have data underscore okay one 
one more second so here i would put on file one okay data underscore file two and that is equal to two underscore file dot and here goes the read function and the brackets right that has been completed now i want to check on that what's the similarity here right like what is the plagiarism uh, ratio like what is the thing what or how much percent plagiarized content we are having onto the file number two that is what i want to check on right so i would write on the name let's say that is matches okay matches is one of the name let's say which i have and put it is equal to here goes the calling of my function which i had imported above that is sequence matcher in the bracket first of all i'm going to write out here is okay this M would be capital, not small. Great. Putting on a comma here, I would be writing my both of the variables into which I have read out my file. So that is data file 1 separated by a comma. That is next second is data file 2. Okay. Dot and here we put on the function that is ratio. Okay. That will help me to get on the ratio. Coming down, I would simply print on the F string here. Uh, print F string that the plagiar or p-l-a-g-i-a-r-i-s-e-d the plagiarized the plagiarized content is inside this i'd be putting on the variable that is matches because it will store that and here goes my percent sign so this is this much we are having on the plagiarized content right so hope i am clear i have just mentioned out that particular thing now i'll be running out my program here so click on run and here goes the run so now it is showing me that the plagiarized constant is 0.4 somewhat percent onto my file 1 up to file 2. So see here, whatever I have written up, this photo is for checking the plug. Plug is not coming, okay, neither the is coming. Simply we have one simple thing that is coming which is project. So one second, um, right here, this project is simply coming on, right? Now what if I just change on some of the things right here? So let's say I just mention out that i am making a plagiar okay i'm making a plagiarism detector okay now if i go back to again of my file and if i just run that out once again see now what it is showing me it is showing me that this much is the plagiarized content which you are having now it is showing me this much very small numbers the reason is that i haven't multiplied it with 100 so i just need to multiply it with 100 to get on the correct number so multiplied by 100 now if i run that out so now it see that it is 74.41 somewhat percent okay so because previously i haven't multiplied that by 100 so it wasn't giving me the complete percentage it was simply giving me the ratio but we don't want the ratio we simply wanted out the percentage so this is how you could get on the percentage as well for here so hope i am very much clear with this particular project that how we can make out a plagiarism detector in the python programming language using the diff library okay and from that we are using on a sequence matcher function so hope you enjoyed out this video you enjoyed out this project we'll meet you with a new project so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care